I'm constantly being asked which is better, Active Campaign or ConvertKit. I actually use both of them for slightly different parts of my business. So I thought I'd put together this uh, marketing automation showdown and compare Active Campaign to ConvertKit for you. Active Campaign. Well, the pros of Active Campaign is it is a full featured marketing automation suite. It's got a CRM built in, it's got lots of automation features. It's got some really good split testing options. Uh, it's competitively priced and one subscriber equals one subscriber. So if somebody's on five different lists, they're still only classed as one subscriber. With Aweber, if you have one person on five lists, it's actually classed as five subscribers. So that can get quite expensive going forward. Now the active campaign cons. The basic plan, which is called the light plan, it does lack some features, so it hasn't got the CRM involved. Uh, however, you do get the automations, which is probably the main part of it. It has got a steep learning curve. Even after two years, I still sometimes struggle to find a few bits and pieces in, in there. So learning it will take longer than that than ConvertKit. You can't schedule resends, which is really annoying. So if you do a reset, uh, if you send out an email now, a broadcast, and you want to reschedule the a resend to go up 12 hours time, you have to actually manually log in in 12 hours time and send it. Uh, why they don't do it, I've got no idea. It's one of my biggest gripes about it. Also, the email interface uh, can be a little clunky. Um, it causes issues and it's not as smooth as it should be. ConvertKit. Uh, one of the pros is ease of use. Easiest email service provider that I've ever used. It has a very basic marketing automation. It can move people between lists. Um, it can add, you can add tags, you can remove tags, you can move people based on tags. The email creation interface is... Once again, the best I've seen. I absolutely love creating email sequences in there because it's so easy. And once again, one subscriber is one subscriber. Since I created this image, uh, I've actually changed my mind slightly about some of them. No conditional automations. There are a few conditional automations you can do. It is very limited compared to active campaign. There's no free trial. They, they will do you a demo though if you want. When you create an account, you, what you, when you create a list, what you do is create a form. And that's it. There's no actual no list. All there are are forms. Now, initially, because for the last 12 years, I've been using things like Aweber, Active Campaign, where you have forms and lists, it really wasn't intuitive. Okay, so for the first three or four days, it'll confuse the hell out of you. After that, it's not an issue. It actually makes a lot of sense. Also, one of the cons is it's a little bit more expensive. However, if you're doing your email marketing properly, expense really shouldn't come into it. For this part of the video, what I want to do is focus on what I consider to be the best part of both systems. And we'll compare them so you can actually see the difference. I have set up a free course for both Active Campaign and ConvertKit, which I'll link to at the end, which will take you through setting up your first campaign so you can get an idea of what you need to do and decide which one's right for you. So the first one we look at is automations. So this is what an automation looks like in Active Campaign. We'll go into Active Campaign in a minute and I will set up a very quick um, automation for you. And this is what it looks like in ConvertKit. As you can see, ConvertKit, once again, ease of use is big with ConvertKit. Um, Active Campaign is slightly more confusing. So let's pop straight in. So this is a creating a new automation in Active Campaign. So you've got lots of pre-created recipes here. So you can choose them and then go through and create, uh, make the changes so that recipe works for you. I always start from scratch. So let's go and create this now. Okay, so what the first thing you gotta do is work out how you can get somebody into the automation. So if they subscribe, unsubscribe, submit a form, opens, clicks an email, visit a web page, shares an email, forwards an email, a, a tag is added, a field changes, a goal is achieved, a date is based, RSS score changes. Let's keep it simple and just go, someone subscribes to um, content that converts. Okay, so I've got a, a list called content that converts. Um, and so when someone subscribes using the opt-in form, we can do a few things. Okay, so uh, we can add a tag, which is always important. Uh, where we are, contacts, add tag. Let's get tag behavior we'll just pretend it's that one there so they've requested the report okay 
so we, we've tagged them so we, we can now identify these people within um, ActiveCampaign. Next up, we can have if, so select condition um, tag exists subscriber. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is if they're already a subscriber, then we're going to send them an email. Um, I've got to create an email. So it will now take me through to create the email. I'm just going to save and exit straight away. You can see there's lots of little uh, templates there you can use. Okay, and no, we're gonna send a different email. What I would do is create a, another email here and do that, but I'm just gonna use the existing with the demo one. So use your imagination. So what's gonna happen here now is when someone subscribes to the list, we're gonna add the tag if they are already a subscriber, we'll send them one email. If they're not a subscriber, we'll send them a second email. We can then um, wait until a specific condition is met. Uh, date and time. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to send them an email, then we're going to wait until it's 7 a.m. in their time zone, and then we can do another action, send them another email or whatever. Okay, so that is basically how you set up a automation within um, Active Campaign. So let's go to ConvertKit now, and you'll see it's much different. There's not as much that you can do. So basically what we can do, we can automate things and set up an automation when someone subscribes to a sequence, subscribes to a form, finishes a sequence, clicks a link, adds a tag, a tag removed, or when they buy a product. And when one of those triggers, you can subscribe them to another sequence, unsubscribe them from a sequence, subscribe them to a form, unsubscribe for a form, add tag and remove tag. And that's it. That's all you can do, which is actually surprisingly quite often all you need to do. So what can happen is when somebody subscribes to a form, Select any form, marketing 3.0. So they, they opt into that form. We can then subscribe them to a sequence. Select a sequence, a marketing 3.0. And you'll see down here, in fact, I've actually done these in the past. So they subscribe to a form, um, subscribe to a sequence, marketing 3.0. We add a tag requested, marketing 3.0. When they're finished going through the seven emails or eight emails, then we move them to general subscribers. So that's some things we can do. There's other ones here um, where we have, where we've got this one. When somebody purchases one of my products on Teachable, we then subscribe them to a form, uh, which is another list. So we know they've actually bought. So we can then, when we do an email, we can exclude them from emails promoting content infotainer. So that is the basic stuff for ConvertKit. As far as automations, go as far as i'm concerned there's only one winner and that's active campaign so if you want uh sync with lots of automations and you want lots of control over what emails people get then active campaign is the one to go for if you're just looking for basic sequences basic tagging and moving people between lists when they complete a list then convert kit is good enough next up we can look at email creation right so this is uh, very, very simple. So let's have a quick look. Uh, active campaign. Active campaign is very clunky, and you'll see this now. So we'll call it demo campaign. Next. Okay, we'll select the list that people it can go to. It will be that one there.
Okay, we can build um, or choose a form we want. Oh, sorry, choose a template we want, I should say. So we've got a template there. I have actually created an article beforehand. I'll just copy that now. That's going up. So this is the reason this goes so small is I have Grammarly and Grammarly gives it a bit of a bug. Um, you can see here, I just want to change the size of that to 18. No matter how many times I change this to um, 18, it actually just goes back to 13 all the time. So we've got that. Um, looks a bit rubbish. So we're going to do that to 130. Now, although I create a template, I've got to do this all the time. So that is our article there. Now, you'd, you'd think I could add an image in here. So you can insert stuff here. Image, it's not going to work. Okay. What you have to do, if you want to do insert an image, I think you have to get rid of that now. Go away. Now, if I want to insert an image here, what I would have to do is create a new box. So we've got a box here. I would need to cut the bit out that I want to use. Cut. Um, okay. And then what I would need to do is insert image. And I need to drag that there and then add the image. Okay. Which is... Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's stupid. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the next. Okay, so we've got that. It will tell you spam check, and you can send now or you can schedule for later. So that's active campaign. Let's go to convert kit, and you will see um, exactly what we've got to do. So here we have a here new broadcast. So here you can choose your recipients, just like the other one. So I can do subscribe to form. Uh, let's go that one there. Update. You can see what's going to do 1,000 people there. Let's go to the next step. I'm just going to copy my form again. You can see it's, uh, convert kits a little bit quicker than active campaign as well. Um, so I'm going to do this. The tool I use as is adds a extra line. Okay, let's pretend it's, I've done that all. Now I want to include an image here. Insert image, and I can just drag and drop the image uh, wherever I want. And I can just do that one there. Okay, that's so we've got we've got got an image in there. That's as good as it gets. Subject line. Um, demo. Next step. Okay, so we can send immediately or we can schedule for a certain time. Okay, that's how easy it is. If you want to do a resend, you can actually, once you've, once you've created it, you can actually create a resend to go in 12 hours time and that will go to people who haven't opened. Okay, if I want to change something here, so we can go back to content, click on there, I can change it. If I want to change recipients, click on there, go back to there. If I want to do that in active campaign, so we've got here, so edit lists, people I can go to. So I want to edit it so I can click on here. Wait, white chugs back. Okay, so there, we'll go in there, make a change. Okay, then we'll go through, back way through, all the way through it again. And we're back here where we started. Okay, so that is running the uh, broadcast and how to do it. Okay, obviously there is only one winner here and that's ConvertKit. Um, while I'm here, I will show you quickly my favorite part of ConvertKit. Where are we? Sequences. Create a sequence.
it lays out your sequence there for you, gives you suggestions of what you can um, include that soft sell there, educational message, hard sell, soft sell, educational mes message. And you just write it in there, set it to publish, and it all goes. Absolutely love that feature. Um, it's the best one I've found. Okay, so there we go. Winner there, convert kit. So my conclusions, uh, you should probably know what they're going to be already. If you need features and automations, then go with Active Campaign. If you need ease of use and your main priority is sending emails and doing some minor um, marketing automation, then ConvertKit is the one to use. As I said, I've created two free training courses for you. Um, so you can set up, it will show you how to do your first campaigns in both. So you it will ease the learning curve with both Active Campaign and ConvertKit. If you go to http the um, you'll find them there. There's Active Campaign Masterclass, I think. No, sorry, it's Active Campaign Basics and Convert Kit Mastering Convert Kit or something like that. I've called it. Can't remember which. You can go there. You can sign up and you can get the course, the, the course for free. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it, you found it useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the uh, comments below. Thanks. Bye.